Old Town Stadium, ready to rock here in Jacksonville, Florida. And we have two teams who are fighting for the divisional title. Yep, these Titans and Jaguars both have great teams, and they always seem to play for pretty high stakes. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Matt. Boy, you talk about a quarterback who can light up the scoreboard. This guy can do it all. And the scary thing is, he's getting better with each game. I think some of that has to do with his receiver, because he's got some good ones to throw to him. Derek Mason will be his go-to guy once again, and for obvious reasons. He's one of the better route runners and always seems to make the catch in traffic. Stopping this combo hasn't been easy for many defenses, so we'll have to see what type of coverages they go with to prevent these two from doing a lot of damage. Now this is what you call excitement. Look at those guys down there. They can't even stand still. And the captains are out there ready for the coin toss. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. The kickoff team lines up. Good kick should be returnable from the 11. Ready to go on offense for the first time. Our EA Sports coach close up features two of the more meticulous coaches in the NFL. Jack Del Rio brings an upbeat, enthusiastic attitude to this Jaguars team. His offensive philosophy is to offer a balanced attack, one in which the quarterback does not feel like the game rests on his own arm alone. Our EA Sports coach close up continues with Jeff Fisher. In each of the last eight seasons, the Titan defense is ranked in the top 10 against the run and earned the number one slot last season. With the throw, great pass. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. In my mind, a big advantage to this offensive unit with their running game against a defensive unit that has a tough time stopping the run. Their front seven needs to get more aggressive. They need to get the jump on those offensive tackles and force them to get their inside putback so they can take off in the middle. That run didn't get them much. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. The Jags come out with three receivers tight. Throws it. Nice adjustment. Wolfo with the tackle at the 36-yard line. Nice read. Finding the receiver who is in single coverage. And this is the fifth play of this drive. The Jaguars line up in the bunch formation. Dyson with the stop at the 34. So a pickup of maybe three. They need to get the ball inside the 26-yard line to convert for the first down. The Titans come out in a nickel package. Gets rid of it with the adjustment. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got caught. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. So we have first and ten here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Again with the run. Williams is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 11. Looks like he's heading to the sideline just to get some air. 11 yards to the end zone. Looking for a receiver. Gunning this one to the end zone. The pass ball is incomplete. What a play in the end zone by the defender to tip it away. He's just lucky that guy didn't pick it off. An interception in the end zone would just kill you. Not only do you lose your chance to score in the drive, but the offense gets it back at the 20. He finds his man. Dyson records the tackle at the seven yard line. They convert for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. And it's complete. Jimmy Smith is in there for the touchdown. Comes in for the extra point. Hey. And it's up. He misses the point after try. The Jaguars are set to kick it deep. Should be a return here from the 10. 
The Titans will start this drive from the 32. First and 10. The backs are lined up in an eye. Aimed it off to the back. Douglas makes the stop at the 35-yard line. Short gain and then burst through the middle, maybe half a yard. I don't think I'd call that run a burst. It was more of a limp up the middle. Second and seven coming up here. George, the lone setback. McNair with a man in motion. Dropping back. Gets the pass off, and he can't find a way to keep possession. He was there, got his hands on it, but just couldn't make the catch. It looked like he had it, but he just couldn't get it under control. Jacksonville comes out in their nickel package. Drops back. Rowing. And he makes the grab. We'll feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, with how hard he just got in, he's lucky to be able to hold on to the ball. Dropping back to pass on first down. With the throw, just couldn't get that pass under control. That's two passes dropped in succession, John. Yep, they just didn't watch it into their hands either time. And this is the fifth play of this drive. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Favors brings him down at the 45. Pretty good coverage downfield, so he decided to pack it in, picked up a handful in the process. And that's just the kind of thing he'll do. He's very good at creating opportunities with his legs. He'll go from the shotgun. Dropping back, tosses it right with the catch. Mathis stops him at the 37. McNair guns one for a first down. Let me tell you, the biggest pass rush in the world when you stop that one. The backs are lined up in an eye. Hand it off to the back. He shakes the defender. Number 58 makes the play at the 29-yard line. Sometimes you can be a little over-aggressive on defense like you see here. He had him lined up, but he over-pursued. And he got caught out of position, and the ball carrier was able to cut back. McNair with a man in motion. Big pop that time. Boom! <laughs> that is big time football. He was looking for some room on the ground, but the defense was right there. Running with the quarterback could be very effective if the defense isn't expecting it. They were in good position. They got to him very quickly on that play. George, the lone back. Troop moves in motion. Closing in with the pass. This pass is incomplete. McNair saw the pressure and got rid of the ball. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Nedney comes in to attempt a field goal, which would give them their first score of the day. The kick is up. The veteran kicks it through. No problem for him. Whatever the situation, he'll approach it the same way. Cool and smooth. The Titans are lined up for the kickoff. And he got all of that one. A great kick. From the three-yard line. Stiff arm there. To the 20. The 30. The defense looks to rebound after that last effort when they allowed the touchdown. All right, so we have first and 10 here. Only one man back. Dropping back the pass on first down. Stepping up. Launches this one to the right. He made the pass. Williams pulls him down at the 30-yard line. Dumps the ball out to his receiver. And that'll bring up a first down. First downs are critical in this game. And when the quarterback calls your number, you want to make sure you make the catch and don't mess something up. Throwing on first down. Looking for an option. He pass looking for the end zone. This is just a beautiful play to force the incompletion. 
I mean, he gets up high, and he turns what could be a touchdown into a heck of a defensive play. Set, cut. Pressure coming. He surveys the field. Still free. He's going for it all. Just couldn't get that pass under control. So the pass falls. He's completely in the end zone. All right. He's looking, getting some air under this one, looking for his man deep. Pass throws incomplete. And this is an incredible play by the defender. You know, he didn't look like he would be there in time. But he jumped over the top for everyone, and he got his hand on it to knock it away. Drops back with the throw. He hits his receiver. Echol stops him at the 13. Now watch how they get out of a jam. They're looking at a fourth and long situation here. And they call the perfect play at the perfect time. He makes one heck of a throw, and he gets it past the marker to keep him going. Everything had to work on that one, and everything did. Looking for an option. Throwing. Smith is in there for the touchdown. And he's able to get open in the end zone. Great play. The defense just seemed to lose track of him down there. They have to do a better job keeping the play in front of them so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. Marler comes in to attempt the point after. And it's up. And he taps on the extra point. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 13-3. As for 